This is one of the modern world's last frontiers. Challenging, isolated, fiercely beautiful. And to those driven to know these lands and determined to protect them, immensely rewarding. Beneath the ancient soils of the Earth's smallest continent lie the resources that fuel the world's fastest growing economies. But succeeding here requires more more determination, perseverance, and sensitivity than many are willing to give. There is no more suitable calling for the Apache spirit than exploring what's possible in Australia. Western Australia is in my opinion at least, the world's leading mining economy and becoming increasingly important in natural gas. Um, it's a very specialised economy. We only have uh, 2.3 million people, but much of our natural resources, both mineral and petroleum, are in very remote places. Development would not be possible from within uh, our own resources as a state and as a country. And international business, companies such as Apache, have brought their capital, uh, their expertise, their people, and have discovered new gas and fields. They have developed them, they have supplied, in Apache's case, 30% of our domestic gas comes from Apache projects. Our West Australian economy would not operate well without that. While much of Australia's history has been characterised by isolation, today, the land down under finds itself perfectly positioned to fuel the new world economy. Western Australia supplies double-digit percentages of the minerals and base metals industrialization and manufacturing require. And China requires a larger percentage of these resources every single day. The oil and gas and minerals precinct that we have here in Western Australia is very strategically placed. The continued demand for processed minerals, which is largely in Western Australia generated from gas produced for domestic purposes, um, as well as the demand for raw materials from those countries, China, Korea, Taiwan, Japan, will continue to underpin a very strongly growing Western Australian economy and continue to create great opportunities for further investment. Uh, offshore exploration is critical to the development of the industry and of our uh, West Australian and Australian economy. Uh, it was put to me only recently that the development of the offshore petroleum fields uh, off Western Australia are at a state of development where the Gulf of Mexico was perhaps 20 to 30 years ago. To date, the Carnarvon Basin, which is roughly the size of the Gulf of Mexico, contains less than 1 20th of the wells drilled in the Gulf. Apache controls approximately 6.7 million acres in this offshore region and is strategically positioned for decades of additional opportunity. Apache's investment in Australia's domestic infrastructure began in the early 1990s with the purchase of facilities on Varanus Island and adjacent producing fields. Located 75 kilometers off the rugged northwest coast, Varanus Island hosts gas plants and pipelines, oil processing and liquid storage. Continuously leveraging this infrastructure makes more of the northwest shelf's production economically feasible including that of Apache's Halyard and Spar Fields. John Brooks is the largest discovery tied to Varanus, producing 240 million cubic feet of natural gas per day from just three wells. This represents more than 50% of Varanus's gross daily throughput. More than a processing hub operated by Apache, Varanus Island is also a designated nature reserve. Apache's uh, response to working with sensitive um, habitats and, and uh, you know, marine species is that we've undertaken extensive research work and we also have a very extensive monitoring program where every year we monitor the returning sea turtles to the nesting beaches of Varanus Island 
and also partnership with uh, industry associations such as the Australian Institute of Marine Science to record the migration patterns, the population and the behaviour of whale sharks, uh, you know, the world's largest fish, as they aggregate off the Ningaloo coast. One of only two processing hubs in Western Australia, Varanus Island supplies in excess of 30% of the state's domestic natural gas. But driven by the energy-intensive minerals industry, demand is increasing. And meeting that demand requires investments in infrastructure and increases in supply. Apache is constructing Western Australia's third natural gas hub at Devil Creek to economically develop its reindeer natural gas field. While Apache discovered reindeer in 1998, low domestic natural gas prices the past decade discouraged additional supply and infrastructure developments. Until now, reindeer production via Devil Creek increases the flexibility of the state's natural gas supply and grows supplies by 20%. Construction of the Devil Creek project became a unifying moment with the region's traditional owners, Australia's original people. By moving the Devil Creek development 40 kilometers from its original site, Apache helped safeguard the region's sacred rock art. This is our Bible. It's the Aboriginal Bibles on this rock. And that's why I was so happy to see the day when it came to opening the Devil's Creek project and I felt it was about time that I'd thank the people of Apache developing out there and moving away from the borough. As Apache's understanding of and expertise in the Carnarvon Basin increased, the company found itself looking for new opportunities in deeper waters. Apache found both opportunity and significant success off the coast of Exmouth. In a challenging area surrounded by pristine waters, including the Ningaloo Reef World Heritage Site, Apache is working to add an additional 200 million cubic feet per day to the region's natural gas supply, with its participation in the BHP Macedon development. At Macedon, subsea wellheads and manifolds will rest on the sea floor and connect production directly into a pipeline leading to the onshore Macedon gas plant. When completed in 2013, the plant will become Western Australia's fourth natural gas processing hub. And the three Apache-owned facilities will supply over half the domestic natural gas in Western Australia. Apache's Pyrenees and Van Gogh oil developments are in the same area. Brought online in 2010, the Pyrenees and Van Gogh developments quadrupled Apache's oil production from four different discoveries and initial production from Coniston in 2013 will add additional volumes at Van Gogh. Subsea equipment connects directly to an FPSO, or floating production storage and offloading vessel. Using FPSOs eliminates the need for both platforms and pipelines by processing and storing produced crude oil on board until it is offloaded to a transport tanker. Apache also achieved significant success in another deep water area with its Julemar and Brunello discoveries. At 2 trillion cubic feet plus in reserves, they are second in size only to Apache's Causer discovery in Egypt. The Wheatstone LNG project which Chevron will operate now affords Apache uh, a good avenue to commercialize those significant gas reserves that sit out there and have been discovered and appraised in our Julemar and Brunello fields. Gives us another avenue, it's a step change for the region and the corporation. One of the largest capital investment projects in Apache's history, Wheatstone will be underpinned with LNG contracts indexed to crude oil. Well placed to satisfy rapidly developing Asian energy markets, the project will provide Apache with decades of excess cash flow. Apache's commitment to Australia extends beyond significant contributions to the country's energy infrastructure. Apache is also committed to investing in the region's people, supporting health, education, and culture with innovative multi-generational programs, scholarships, fellowships, and teaching to guide the next generation, and important research grants to improve child health. I believe very strongly that the most important investment anyone can make is into the health and well-being of children. If you can get the majority of children in your society on a pathway to health and healthy development, 
brain development in particular, your society's future is in good hands. This institute is absolutely committed to that pathway and it's people like Apache who are going to help us get there. Apache has seen the initial expression of what's possible in Australia through employment, opportunity and a better standard of living for Australians. Investment is the fuel for this continued growth, and Apache's has been substantial. Five billion dollars to date. Over the last two decades, Apache has drilled over one quarter of all wells drilled in Western Australia. This investment has paid off with a nearly 70% increase of Apache's proved reserves, and a 120% increase in production over the past five years alone. Apache is one company that's had a, a very active and successful program of exploration and in my observation has been particularly successful when finding fields of uh, developing them for the domestic market. Now Apache also going into some bigger projects into export LNG. So it's proven itself as a company to be uh, not only active but innovative in the way in which it develops fields of different value and size. And this is just the beginning. Apache's investment in Australia is accelerating and is projected to double to more than $10 billion over the next five years. With a pipeline of discoveries and developments across this frontier, Apache is actively exploring what's possible in Western Australia.